Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this Pick A Pal reading. So because you may be dream sharing right now with your twin, connecting in dreams and feeling the power of the love, maybe remembering your dreams, maybe you aren't. But if you are struggling to sleep or maybe if your sleep's a bit disrupted right now or maybe you're waking up sweating or feeling hot and you know you are connecting with them in some way, you know you are talking and meeting up and making love or just talking about the future. The angels want you to find another way of connecting. So what I want to do is I want to bring in the sleep tight cards because these cards will help you to understand the connection a bit more in the dream world and also to feel good. Now they are giving me a twitch in the eye and I picked up on this earlier today in the masculine reading. So the eyes are connected with the windows of the soul. That's where you connect with each other. But the eye is also connected with what you physically see. So in dreams, you also receive previews of what's to come. So you see things in a clearer way. It allows you to see through your physical reality and understand things in a deeper way. So they're guiding me to bring in the sleep tight cards. And this can also give you guidance about how to connect better, how to sleep better, how to feel better when you're awake because you've had a good night's sleep. And I'm going to bring in the Angel Dreams Oracle cards, just to see if this can give any clarity into the type of dreams you're having too. So thank you, angels. So I'm going to use three piles, one, two, and three. And these are beautiful hearts. They're made of glass, so they're not crystals. But we've got a pink one for pile one. We've got a dark blue or purple for pile two. And we've got a green or like an aquamarine. It matches this top a little bit for pile three. So thank you, angels. How can the twin flames connect better, more powerfully, or sleep better to connect more powerfully at night? What do we need to know, please, for pile one? What do we need to know? Pile one jumped out there. Pile two, what do we need to know, please, angels, for pile two? Pile two. I feel these are the cards here. Yeah, got one card coming out. And pile three. Wow. I'm just going to grab the card that came out for pile one. And then we're going to shuffle this deck as well for pile one. What do we need to know, please, angels? Thank you. Jump straight out there. For pile number two, look at this, wow. And for pile number three. Pile number three, thank you, thank you. Now, they are guiding me as well. I've got another deck here, and I used this deck earlier today. So I'm going to bring this in as well. We've got the Meshes from Heaven communication cards, because when you are sleeping... You're also communicating, even if you don't remember it, you are communicating to each other through dreams, feelings, signs. So what do you need to know? Thank you, angels. What do you need to know for pile two? What do we need to know for pile two? And for pile number three, thank you, angels. Wow, okay. So this will be time stamped in the description box below. And if you do feel guided to more than one pile, then watch both because... There will be meshes in there for you. It's like if you're not guided to a particular pile, there may be meshes in all three. But always do what you're guided to do because you're in charge. So pile one, two and three, when you're ready, pick your pile. And this will be time stamped in the description box below. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to start then with pile one. So first of all, the message is, we are proud of you and aware of your achievements. Wow. So I feel in dreams, you and your twin are proud of each other. The peacock is about confidence. So be proud of the journey right now because you've both come so far. So I feel in dreams, even if you are not remembering your dreams, you are both letting each other know how proud you are of each other. And this is also a great sign from your angels and loved ones in heaven. You may have even received a dream from a loved one in heaven, maybe your mum or your dad or someone you were very close to who is coming to you to say, I'm so proud of you and I'm aware of all of your achievements. Well done. You know, if you wish you could tell someone who's passed over that you really, you know, are happy with how far you've come and the things you've done, they already know. They are aware of your achievements. And it feels like in the dream state, you know, you're able to say to your twin, I'm so proud of you. And they're able to say that to you, especially if there's a communication block in the physical world or you can't connect in the physical world. This is power. 
So I'm seeing a lot of power coming into your dreams here. You know, you may also be talking about mission, purpose. You may also be receiving signs in dreams about what to do, about what you're achieving and what you still have to achieve, what you want to do in life. So this could very much be about career and work as well, finances, working on your dreams, in dreams. So being proud of each other, that's really beautiful. And we've got, yeah, astral travel. So you're definitely connecting in your dreams, astrally. That means they are coming to you, you're going to them. And we've got vital force. So it feels like when you were dreaming, you are rejuvenating yourself. You know, you're finding your strength. So it's vital to your life force to sleep. And at times we forget that, you know, because we can be busy and we may just have a few hours here and there. Or, you know, we may not be able to sleep because of stress or anxiety or because we're connecting with our twin and we're feeling their sense of, you know, struggle. But the angels are reminding you how vital to your life force sleep is. And it feels like right now, this connecting, this astral travel is vital to force things forward. And we should never force anything, you know, because we just, you know, the angels saying allow things to breathe and be. But the force behind this, the divine intervention, the way the angels help, are pushing things forward. So it's vital right now that you are connecting in this way because it's helping you feel strong. And you're also receiving information from the dream time soul travel. So you're receiving information, information to be proud of yourself, to be proud of what you've been achieving. So this is really powerful. And I do feel as well, you may have had dream visits from loved ones, you know, people who've passed over, like your mum or your dad or someone who really wants to say to you, I'm so proud of you. This could even be a sibling, it could be a friend or it could be somebody that helped you in life maybe as a guru or a guide, and you know, this could be anyone, you know, this could be, but they gave me Wayne Dyer, because I feel someone was heavily connected with him in the physical, you know, even if you didn't meet him or know him, he helped you in some way, you know, remember we are connected as well with people who we've looked up to or we've been helped by, and I don't mean looked up to as in you've put them on a pedestal like a celebrity, you know, I mean, seeing them as equal, someone who's helped you, like someone whose music may have helped you, who may have passed over. So this is about trusting that. You know, they're giving me people like Elvis, Michael Jackson, you know, people who you're connecting with in this way. So the angels are saying you are supported by life. And I feel this peacock is coming to remind you of that. So lie on your back and close your eyes. So you can do this when you're falling asleep or if you want to do this in the day, if you want to meditate doing this, but this is going to calm you. So lie on your back and close your eyes and imagine your bed being like an inflatable mattress drifting on the ocean of life. There will be high tides and low tides, but you can always count that your bed will keep you afloat. So, you know, maybe listening to music connected with water. So this could be ocean sounds, you could be a water sign. And you could be really connecting with water because of that. But we're all in Pisces energy as I record this in real time. And remember, this video is timeless. So when you find this reading, it's meant for you in the moment. But as we record this in real time, you know, this is also about the highs and lows. You know, Pisces energy, it's very deep and intense. So this is allowing yourself to feel your emotions and understand that you will get through whatever you're going through right now, any challenges. And life is supporting you. And be proud of how far you've come. So use the affirmation as you fall asleep. I am supported by life because that's a creation energy. So if you say as you fall asleep, I am supported by life, you're going to wake up feeling supported. And you're going to feel supported everything in everything you do. So sink into your bed and feel it supporting your sleep. Night after night, every night. Life supports you in the same way day after day. So if you fall asleep saying, I am supported by life, your day will feel supported. And you're going to feel supported because you know you have the power of heaven around you. Your loved ones saying, we're so proud of you. You know, you are capable of achieving so much and doing so much in your life. And these astral visits and this way you're connecting with your twin is giving you the power you need. And listen to your heart. 
So during sleep, you're able to listen to your heart and follow it and connect with each other. I have time to listen to my heart. So it really feels like in dreams, when you are connecting in dreams, you have time for each other because you may be busy. They may be busy. Maybe right now you can't spend time together because of schedules and other things, other priorities like karmic situations or children or your job. But you can connect in dreams because you have the time to do that. Lie on your back and close your eyes and slow your breathing and place your hands on your heart and visualize yourself providing oxygen to your heart through your hands. So breath work, breathing in, breathing out. You may also visualize love, peace or anything else you desire moving through your hands to your heart. Be at peace and listen to what your heart desires because you have the ability to give it what it needs. So I feel in dreams you're coming together to give each other what you need, to listen to each other, to talk about the future and to feel the power of the love. And you're going to feel that in your heart. So relax and breathe, especially if in the waking world, you know, if you're awake and you're having any heart issues or palpitations or you're having any ear chakra pain, you know, if your ears are ringing or you've got burning or there's some kind of itching or, you know, you've got like pain in your ears, it's because you are being guided to connect in dreams. Listen to what they are saying, listen to yourself and trust yourself. So as you're falling asleep, say, I am supported by life. And I have time to listen to my heart. And you're going to connect through the astral realms to show each other how proud of each other you are. And I love that you've got the pink heart because this is about love and romance. So definitely breath work, maybe listening to some ocean sounds because that will calm you. Maybe visualizing you're on a beach, listening to the waves or you're on a boat and, you know, you can feel the power. Maybe you're even meeting up on boats. Thank you. The same you know, meeting up on a boat, a cruise liner, or, you know, maybe a personal yacht or a little boat or on a raft, you know, you're going to be connecting with water in dreams because that's very cleansing and healing. I hope that helps. Very powerful. Pile two, welcome. So the message coming through for you is let us bring, and the bring, it's the same bring, let us hug you, close your eyes as we hold you close. So the angel's saying, let us bring this love to you. So it feels like maybe the masculines have been holding themselves back in the dream world because they don't want to, you know, hurt themselves by experiencing a dream that's so intense and powerful. It hurts them not having that dream in the physical. It says, let us pug you. They keep saying bring. Okay, they want to bring this to you. So the angels want to bring you together in your dreams right now. So if you've been holding yourself back, they give me a block there because of any blocks or delays. Allow yourself to receive and be receptive in the dream world. Allow yourself to feel and be vulnerable. Let us hug you. So I feel your masculine wants to connect with you in a dream and hold you close and be intimate with you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. So allow yourself to feel the love. And we've got the monkey there. You may have even had a dream about a monkey. So this is about mischievous energy. The monkey is also about, you know, family because monkeys usually come in a big family. And this is about seeing through the monkey business, you know, the player energy. If you feel your masculine's messing you around or, you know, not being genuine or, you know, not really caring about you or, you know, they're just playing around or whatever they're doing, they are showing you in the eyes here how they really feel. So it's about seeing through the monkey business, you know, the way they are back and forth or they're giving me fear or the way fear is affecting the connection. In dreams, they can be their authentic self. So I feel in this dream, they want to come to you and hold you and close their eyes when they feel your love and connect in that way. So I feel very intimate, sensual dreams, lucid dreams. You might wake up and think, wow, did that happen? feel disorientated because it was so intense and we've got water and this really resonates with pile one as well so you could be a water sign but water is very cleansing and we're in Pisces energy as I record this in real time so this video is timeless and this reading will find you when it's meant to but if you're watching this today 
you're in the energy of emotion. Emotions, initiation, rejuvenation. So just like in pile one, it's the same energy. Sleep right now, connecting with your twin will be very rejuvenating. And it also allows you to initiate contact and intimacy. And it allows you to feel the emotions and connect with each other and feel the power of the love and understand that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You may even visualize being on a beach or you may dream about being far away. Or if you're struggling to sleep, close your eyes and connect with being on a beach or the energy of the water and hear the waves and maybe you want to listen to ocean music. We've also got Hawthorne, balance and elemental kingdom. So dreams are going to bring balance in because it's going to feel like a more balanced energy or a more balanced connection because in dreams your twin can open up and be with you and give to you everything that you give to them. So if it feels unbalanced in the physical reality, it's going to feel balanced in a dream. And don't worry if you can't remember these dreams because you'll remember what you need to at the right time. You know, even if you can't remember, it's doing what it needs to do while you are sleeping. And the elemental kingdom is connected with magic and power and connecting with other realms. So I feel this is about you feeling other realms helping you. You know, you may even dream about other realms, elementals such as dragons, unicorns, magic fairies, a magical garden they're showing me. Or water energy, water spirits like dolphins. You know, you could be dreaming about anything in the water like fish or sharks or mermaids. And we've got obsidian, grounding, shielding, void. So obsidian may be helping or hindering sleep. Thank you. So the same, you know, if you're struggling to ground yourself and fall asleep, having obsidian on the table may help because it's also going to shield you from anything negative or help you to feel less afraid or to feel less alone because the void there is the pain the pain of not being together the pain of the situation that can create a void so you may be having sleepless nights because of that or there may be some struggle around or some psychic attack so obsidian will bring in a shielding and a grounding energy so if you have a little piece by your bed it may help you to sleep better or if you already use obsidian, this may also be a sign to move it out of the bedroom if you're struggling to sleep because it may allow you to sleep better. So you know how this energy of this crystal affects you, but it's a very grounding stone and we need to ground ourselves sometimes to be able to sleep. So during sleep, you're going to be grounded and you're going to feel protected and shielded and you're going to feel like that void is gone because you're connecting in an intimate way. So Archangel Michael is going to protect your dreams so you can sleep comfortable and safely and know that all is taken care of in the physical world because, you know, maybe priorities or struggles or financial things that are keeping you awake. So you need to ground yourself and come back into the now because when we aren't grounded, we're out of balance. And that's because we're worrying about the past or we're stressing over the future. So using obsidian is also going to help you to connect better with the now and maybe you've dreamt about a crystal or obsidian or grounding energy and they're giving me fear and this is helping you to release fear we've got the high council so i feel in dreams as well the high council are coming to you to hug you and hold you close and help you to know you are safe evolution so you may be dreaming about what the next steps are or why you've come or why you're here and you're receiving information and I love the word information again because we got that also in pile one. So it's amazing how this is a collective energy here. So you're receiving information in dreams and you're also receiving guidance about your true potential. So you're learning what you can do, what you can't do, what you're here to do, what you need to do. And evolution is about the way you evolve and change. So the high council, which are the ascended masters such as Jesus or Mary Magdalene or Mother Mary, or going beyond that, you know, if you're connecting with, you know, Lord Ashtar or, you know, if you're connecting with starseed energy. But whomever you are connecting with, you are feeling them around you in dreams. And we've got safe place. So in a dream right now, it's a safe place. I provide safety for myself. And I feel this about feeling safe in the physical world. So whatever's going on in dreams is allowing you to explore stability and safety in a safe place. And it's a safe place in dreams to purge things out. 
you are protected. So Archangel Michael is protecting your dreams. If you're going through any struggle, if you're having any nightmares or, you know, if you wake up sweating or, you know, you may be having some kind of, of weird dream experience that you don't understand, you are safe and protected. And, you know, when we travel in dreams, you know, we visit other realms. You know, I've spoke about this when, you know, I went through sleep paralysis not long ago and I was brought back swiftly into my body. I did a video on it. See, it was very, very intense because we go out of our body. We have outer body experiences during meditation or certain sleep patterns. So it's a safe place to experience things. So close your eyes after finding a relaxed position in bed. So when you're comfortable in bed, close your eyes. And if you have a safe place in your body, where would it be? So if you had a, have a safe place in your body, where would it be? Maybe in your heart, you know, it may be in your mind. It could be your feet, a safe place. And when you find the spot, place your hands there and concentrate all your energy on the safe place. Now, I'm feeling the safe places in your heart. Again, this really resonates with pile one because it's about putting your hands on your heart and feeling the love. If your thoughts start to wonder or wonder, they give me the word wonder, bring them gently back to safety. So if you start wandering off and worry about things, bring yourself back to your heart. You know, what the show me is as well, you know, where is your safe place? You may like to, you know, have your feet stroked or you may like to, you know, kind of, hold your arms or anything that calms you you can do that before you lie down and then lie down and put your hands where they feel comfortable whether it's on your body or you know when I'm in bed I like to sleep you know kind of with my hands under the pillow and you know a bit like this so it's whatever feels comfortable to you and when you have safety inside of you you don't need to seek for it elsewhere you have everything you need, so relax and go to sleep. So you have everything you need. You have help from above. You have your twin with you. You know, you have the protection and the shielding of Archangel Michael to feel at ease. So allow yourself to sleep tonight. Be calm and know that anything you go through is happening for you. So if you've been worrying about sleep because maybe you've had some crazy dreams or you've had some stressful sleep experiences like sleep paralysis or anything else you are actually off visiting other realms connecting with the high council learning about your evolution because sometimes in dreams we go into deep states of you know kind of meditation in dreams without even being aware of it and we visit classrooms and schools in the astral realms to understand this can take you up to the ninth dimension and beyond. So allow yourself to experience what you're going through, knowing that you are safe. Archangel Michael, please protect me in my sleep tonight and know that I am safe. And so it is. So feel a peace. So definitely a feeling of comfort and safety and experiencing power in your dreams. I hope that helps. Wow. Pal three, welcome. So the message coming through for you is your intuition is strong. We are reaching out to help. So it feels like in dreams you are receiving guidance, reaching out to help. So you may be dreaming about loved ones who've passed over, such as your mom or your dad or a sibling or a friend or someone you were connected with. And you're receiving guidance, you know, because your intuition is strong. So in dreams, you're able to connect with your psychic side. So you may be dreaming about, you know, things you want to do, things you want to create in your life. You may be experiencing spiritual healing in dreams. So you may be connecting with, you know, they're showing me things like um, magician energy, mystical dreams, spiritual dreams, knowing that it's so much more than a dream. But also they show me the bridge because the bridge can be where we connect with our twin. So if you're dreaming about your twin very powerfully and they're giving me neck itching and neck itching is connected with changes, itching for change. So you may be finding that you and your twin are showing each other in dreams that you are ready for change and you're trying to break free from old belief systems or old ways of doing things. So the bridge is a symbol of the 5D realm and how you meet up and connect and they're reaching out to you in dreams and they may not be able to reach out to you in a physical way right yet, just yet, the same the right way yet, 
but they are reaching out to you in a dream. So, and we've got daydream. So I feel this isn't just about when you're asleep because you were always dreaming of each other. You're dreaming of each other while you're awake. You know, daydreaming is about visualization. It's about connecting. And they gave me the word fantasy because other people could say, oh, it's a fantasy or it's not real, but you know it is. So it's about harnessing your dream world when you're awake so you can visualize the future and plan and create and manifest. So this is a great sign that you are a creator and manifest it. You know, you're able to bring things into reality with the power of your mind. And we've got imagination. So you have a great imagination where you can go to and create and make things happen and connect in the 5D realm very powerfully. So you and your twin may have a very powerful cosmic 5D love that goes beyond dreams. So in other words, you are connected in waking life as well as in the dream world, even if you're not in contact or, you know, together. So in other words, even if you haven't met each other on the earth plane, you are connected on the earth plane because you are with each other constantly during the day too. So allow your mind to wander in quiet time. So you may like quiet time so you can actually connect with your twin or connect with your angels or have a moment to process your thoughts and your feelings. And we've got dancing. So you may also dream about dancing with your twin. You know, you may dance together in the 5D realm. You may dance in dreams. So it's so much more than just a dream because I feel you can powerfully visualize and connect with them in the day as well during quiet moments and this is the way you express yourself through movement and they give me fear this is the way that fear is released so if you find that you're having dreams about dancing or you know you are connecting in a way where you are on the 5d together you know not in a dream in the real world you know while you're awake and you're dancing or there's movement or maybe you are dancing it's allowing yourself to express things so we've got, I can calm myself down. So the angels are reminding you whatever comes to you and triggers you and stresses you out, you can handle it because you are learning how to calm yourself down through elevating your breath. Lie on your back with your eyes closed. Imagine your breath is like an elevator. So you may also be dreaming about lifts because elevators take you up and down. Sometimes we can dream that go side by side because it's all about how we go to a higher level and then come back to the earth realm. So it's about the way we have ups and downs, highs and lows, the way we deal with them. It's also about how we see things in a higher way. So imagine your breath is like an elevator. The elevator goes down when you inhale and up when you exhale. Make the elevator stop for a few seconds while it's up and down. Hold your breath and count to two. Focusing on your breathing will help you settle down. So, you know, if you're struggling with anything, you know, breath work will calm you down and reconnect you with yourself. Maybe you've even had a dream about being in a lift and going to another place or being with your twin. You know, they show me like in a lift that's in a hotel room or, well, in the hotel to go to the hotel room or wherever you are. So you may be dreaming about dancing, lifts, going up and down. And the angel's saying, calm your energy down, breathe. And we've got a breath of thanks. So you may also be breathing in gratitude throughout the day. You may even fall asleep being grateful. When you wake up, then grateful. But it feels like these are also things you're doing while you're awake. So you may be connecting with your twin in, you know, meditation, quiet times. You may be connecting with heaven by gratitude, breathing in, you know, the good and releasing out the bad. So snuggle up comfortably and close your eyes. You may do this when you're at night, you know, at night when you are, you know, just relaxing, you know, in the evening, you're snuggling up, maybe you're watching a film or, you know, you're connecting with your own self, but comfortably close your eyes and give thanks with every breath you inhale and exhale. Just say the words in your mind, thank you. And if images and thoughts of the things you're thankful for come up, let them, but just saying the words will do. Gratitude and worry cannot coexist, so giving thanks will always soften and relax you ready for a good night's sleep. So affirm I am thankful for all that's good in my life. So as you fall asleep, gratitude is going to help you to sleep better and sleep well. And I feel this is also about being grateful for each other in dreams. You know, when you're connecting, you are grateful for each other. You know, you're breathing, calming each other down. So I feel you also help 
each other to feel better in dreams you know when you're connecting whether it's a daydream when you are awake or it's when you are asleep you are good at supporting each other so you've got really powerful connection on the 5d that you support each other and we've also got soap bubbles so this is also about having a bath you may even connect with them in a bath you know maybe you put some bubbles in you have a nice relaxing bath and you let yourself drift away and you're connecting there too or you may be connecting in a dream about being in a bath together or being in the ocean or you know being in a body of water lie on your back and close your eyes and breathe normally pay attention to it inhale and exhale and after a while imagine blowing out soap bubbles with every breath you exhale every soap bubble contains the tensions of thought that make you feel heavy and burdensome see the bubbles flying out of sight take a deep breath and feel as light as air and fall asleep so the affirmation is life feels light so blow things out to your body that feel heavy to you or burdensome and the color of love i am love and i spread love snuggle in bed and i feel that you also snuggle in bed with your twin so this could be in the physical world but it's also about dreaming about them being in the same bed connecting you know visualizing being with them snuggling in bed and allow yourself to immerse in loving thoughts and feelings what color is love when you see the color start to imagine the color spreading throughout your body so this could be pink for romance it could be white for purity you know you know what you connect with it could even be connecting with this color here which is a very healing color color every part of your body the soles of your feet the calves thighs buttocks hips stomach back chest shoulders and head so this is about cleansing your energy so this could be doing a chakra cleanse it could be cleansing all of your body releasing anything toxic to you and i feel it's very good that you know you connect with each other and you heal each other too so it's so much more your connection than a physical love you've kind of got it down with the spiritual side of things so you very well know how to connect in a 5d way and it feels like you're already in union even though you may not be together so you have this powerful way of helping each other supporting each other relaxing each other calming each other down and helping each other to feel loved and safe and the angels are reminding you that love is the power love is the answer love is the truth and i'm also feeling with this color energy as well you know things like a coloring book if you're using a coloring book you know and like you know the mindful coloring books that we can get in the real world using one of those it's very calming and it takes you off into another place so if you're thinking i can't calm down i can't relax what do i do perhaps get a mindful coloring book even if you haven't colored since you were a kid and just use it to calm you and then your mind's going to wander off and you're going to feel more at peace more relaxed you may get a better night's sleep because of that maybe even having a nice bubble bath before bed will be very relaxing and calming you know relaxing with yourself breath work you know calming yourself down and knowing you are safe these are things that are going to help you to connect more with your guides your angels and your twin while you're asleep i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon